Well, here we are looking at another hive, another colony. Um, you might think it's not doing real well, but it is. The bees are just lower down in the hive. Again, this hive, we've had a candy board on it. Plus, they went through the winter with a good storage of honey. It's, they're so crowded, I hate to pull a frame out. Uh, again, it's about 38 degrees. As you can see at my feet, there's still snow on the ground. And uh, I'll pull this out a little bit, and you can see the honey and, and how the bees have stored enough honey to make it through the winter. I'll just raise it up a little bit here. Yeah, I'll pull it all the way out. You can see all the stored honey they have. And uh, certainly these are colonies that make it through the winter nicely because of the stored honey that they have. It's all about nutrition. Let's look at the other side. And if I could find the queen, which I'm not going to expose them to that much cold to go looking for, but I'm sure if I found her, she would be one of our Midwest Carniolan uh, queens that we raised. These are, these are ones that are making it through the winter in great shape. I may just try to peek for her just for a moment. Pull out another frame. There's a lot of bees, and these are well-organized bees. Uh, this would be a colony that we'll graft from and sell queens from for 2010 because they've, they've done so well. These are not medicated at all. You can see they don't have any results of mites. Uh, tracheomites, varroa mites, strong resistance toward those, toward any diseases. And uh, they've come, this was a really bad winter here in Illinois, but they've come through the winter really strong. And these are the kind of bees that beekeepers want and I want. But it's a little too cold. I'm not going to look at every frame. It's a little too cold for that, even though it's not very windy. So they're doing good. Cool.